Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Zion National Park. Basically, a bunch of things for you to know to make your stay that much more enjoyable. I'm not gonna go into full detail of the hikes that you just saw in the video because each one of these hikes has a dedicated video. And if you have not seen those, make sure you check it out. The Watchman, the Overlook Trail, and the Narrows Guide is one of the most comprehensive hiking guides I've put out, especially with the current restrictions going on in Zion National Park. This video encompasses all that together, and I do wanna add that Angel's Landing is also a must hike. However, right now during COVID, the exciting part of Angel's Landing, which is where you're on the chains to go to the peak, is closed and nobody can actually access it. So you can only do the switchbacks, which is not as enjoyable. So I'm gonna make sure I go back at some point once it's open and get that video for you guys. So I showcased three major hikes. I just talked about the fourth. Another one, if you have time and you can manage to get the permit, is the subway. Uh, that's also a canyoneer slash river hike. I have photos of that on my website. If that's something that interests you, you should definitely look into that. It is an amazing, amazing experience and long experience. With that said, let's jump into how to make your Zion stay that much more enjoyable. And the reason why is because Springdale, Rockville, all these little places that are right before Zion National Park are actually designed really well. Really well for visitors who want to stay, enjoy their stay, go into the park, come out, have a nice place to eat, etc. So let's start with the first thing, which is hotels. Now you can stay in St. George for a little bit cheaper, mostly. And St. George is 45 minutes to an hour away. So if that's something you're looking to budget, that may be an option for you. Places that are close to the park tend to be a little bit more expensive. As an example for today, we're looking at the Marriott. Now I am a Marriott member, so I tend to stay at the Marriott. And I wanna show you guys, Friday, August 21st, 2020, through Sunday, August 23rd, 2020, the same exact nights. One is about eight miles from the entrance, one is about 10 and a half miles from the entrance. Look at the price difference. I've stayed at both. It's really not that much of a difference in terms of the amenities, but that is $70 worth of difference a night um, to be a little bit further out, to have to drive a little bit more. Is it worth it? I think so. Completely up to you, but just something to consider. Okay, so next up is places to check out while you're visiting Zion. As I mentioned, Zion is designed really, really well. So I'm a big coffee addict. So the first place I'll tell you in Springdale, Right at the entrance of Zion National Park is a coffee place called Perks. We went there twice during this last visit. It isn't the first time that I've been there, but it's an awesome place to grab coffee, grab some food, and you're literally a five minute walk to the entrance of the park. So let's take a look at that right now. You can see here Perks Coffee Express and Smoothies at Zion. You also have the Zion Canyon Brew, which is an awesome place if you've been hiking all day. You come back to your car at the visitor center. You can walk here, have some good beer, have some good food. And uh, Zion Outfitter is where I mentioned you can rent some of the water gear for the Narrows hike. I will say right in front of Perks, I found a good clothing store if you're looking to buy some Zion shirts, stuff like that. We visited a few different places, but this place definitely had the most competitive pricing. All right, in terms of food, I am gonna recommend Oscar's Cafe, right where the shell in the corner is. It's, uh, it's Mexican dining, but there's other options on the menu. I've eaten at a few different places at Zion, but Oscar's Cafe now, this is the third time I've eaten here, and it's been good consistently every time I've gone. It's been really, really, really good. So if you like Mexican food or you wanna check out a good place to eat while you're visiting and you're in Springdale, Oscar's Cafe may be the right place for you. Now about a block away, closer to the park, I'm not sure if it's called but there is a souvenir shop and it is a great place to get all sorts of things that you can imagine. As an example, I did buy my kiddo a Hello Zion book. So if you're looking to get something for your kid or maybe as a gift for somebody else, this stuff is really, really great. We read this to him all the time. And even though you're not at Bryce, but you are a short ride ahead, you can also get Bryce books there as well or other Bryce souvenirs. Something to consider, there's a lot of things to check out at the store, and they have an ice cream shop within the store, which is even a bigger plus to go check it out. The last thing I'll recommend is actually a gallery, which again, is just a little bit more of a walk towards the actual park. It was just full of amazing pottery, photography. I actually ended up buying a piece. I spoke to David, and he ended up just sharing a bunch of information. He was just so open to answering my questions. I felt awesome about being able to support him, his photography, and his gallery at Springdale at Zion. And uh, I got this beautiful piece here in this metal frame. I'm very happy that I did. I'll showcase it a little bit more for you guys right here. And uh, if you're in the market for some artwork, I definitely recommend David's Gallery. Uh, make sure you check them out while you're there. Really, really, I'm very, very happy that we stopped there uh, to say hello and, and to check out some of his artwork. No, by the way, that is not a paid promotion. The last place that I wanna recommend while you're staying at Springdale and visiting Zion is the Grafton Ghost Town. There's one road that takes you from whatever hotel you're staying to the south entrance of Zion National Park. 
There's a few different, you can see some side rows, some of them are dirt, some of them are paved. One of them specifically leads you to Grafton Ghost Town. So I wanna share a little bit of the history about this place as a recommendation as to why you should go check it out for yourself. I won't read too much because I'll let you guys sort of explore this link. I'll leave it in the description down below. Grafton, Utah is a ghost town situated along the Virgin River just south of the Zion National Park. Established by Mormon pioneers, many of its buildings still stand and is one of the most photographed ghost towns in the American West. Here's where it gets interesting. In 1859, five families from Virgin established a small settlement of Wheeler. However, it was soon destroyed by a week-long flood in the Virgin River in January 1862. Moving about a mile upstream, they built another settlement, which they named New Grafton after Grafton, Massachusetts. Basically, they talked about how they tried to grow cotton, and then at some point things got so bad during the Black Hawk War that Indian attacks became extremely problematic. The people of Grafton were evacuated to nearby Rockville, and they returned daily to work the farms, but they did not stay permanently until 1868. It seemed like this place was really just prime for flooding. There are a few buildings that are still standing. One of them is this two-story adobe schoolhouse, which they utilize as a church and a community center where social activities and meetings were held. It definitely feels very old school, you know, it has a little bit of a ghost town feeling to it, especially as the night approaches, but I, you know, we were definitely sort of, <laughs> I'll leave it at that. I'll end it with just a little bit more history here. More families left Grafton when it was hit by another devastating flood in 1909. The last classes were taught in that 1918-1919 school year. 1920, Grafton's population had been reduced to just three families and the local Mormon church was discontinued. Uh, there was never any electricity, plumbing, or other modern utilities uh, introduced into Grafton homes. Again, definitely worth a check out. Go hang out with the cows for a little bit. Go see the land, go see the buildings. Everything surrounded by that red rock in the background, those long fields. It's, uh, it's very enjoyable and it is a protected area. There is surveillance on it, some signs. Make sure that you apply your leave no trace principles. Uh, and that you keep these places intact so that we can continue to visit them in the future. With that said guys, make sure you watch the other videos I have where I really dedicate the time and the details to the actual hikes. So if you're curious about the hikes themselves, those are the videos for you. I hope that these recommendations make your stay that much more enjoyable at Springdale, Rockville, within Zion, wherever it is you're staying. And if you have any other questions, make sure you drop them in a comment down below. I'll do my best to get to them. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, all the good stuff. Stick around. I have playlists on Sequoia National Park and many and many other videos coming your way soon.